Disturbances of Respiration Chapter 127 Introduction Normal respiratory pattern is called yuknia. Respiratory pattern is altered by many ways. Altered patterns of respiration are, tachypnea, increase in the rate of respiration. Bradypnea, decrease in the rate of respiration. Polypnea, rapid, shallow breathing resembling panting in dogs. In this type of breathing, only the rate of respiration increases but the force does not increase significantly. Apnea, temporary arrest of breathing. Hypernea, increase in pulmonary ventilation due to increase in rate or force of respiration. Increase in rate and force of respiration occurs after exercise. It also occurs in abnormal conditions like fever or other disorders. Hyperventilation, Abnormal increase in rate and force of respiration, which often leads to dizziness and sometimes chest pain hypoventilation, decrease in rate and force of respiration dyspnea difficulty in breathing. Periodic breathing, abnormal respiratory rhythm. Apnea. Definition. Apnea is defined as the temporary arrest of breathing. Literally, apnea means absence of breathing. Apnea can also be produced voluntarily, which is called breath holding or voluntary apnea. Apnea time. Breath holding time is known as apnea time. It is about 40 to 60 seconds in a normal person, after a deep inspiration. Conditions when apnea occurs. Voluntary effort. Arrest of breathing by voluntary effort is known as voluntary apnea or breath holding. Breath holding time can be increased beyond 40 to 60 seconds by practice, exercise, willpower, and yoga. At the end of voluntary apnea, the subject is forced to breathe, which is called the breaking point. It is because of the accumulation of carbon dioxide in blood, which stimulates the respiratory centers. Besides increased carbon dioxide content in blood, hypoxia, and increased hydrogen ion concentration are also responsible for stimulation of respiratory centers. Apnea is always followed by hyperventilation. Apnea after hyperventilation. Apnea occurs after hyperventilation. It is due to lack of carbon dioxide. During hyperventilation, more carbon dioxide is washed out. So, Partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood decreases and the number of stimuli to the respiratory centers also decreases, leading to apnea. During apnea, carbon dioxide accumulates in the blood. When partial pressure of carbon dioxide increases, the respiratory centers are stimulated and respiration starts. Deglutition apnea. Arrest of breathing during deglutition is known as deglutition, swallowing, apnea. It occurs reflexly during pharyngeal stage of deglutition. When the bolus is pushed into esophagus from pharynx during pharyngeal stage of deglutition, there is possibility for bolus to enter the respiratory passage through larynx, causing serious consequences like choking. This is prevented by deglutition apnea, during which the larynx is closed by backward movement of epiglottis, chapter 43. Vagal apnea. Vagal apnea is an experimental apnea, which is produced by the stimulation of vagus nerve in animals. Stimulation of vagus nerve causes apnea by inhibiting the inspiratory center. Adrenaline apnea Adrenaline apnea is the apnea that occurs after injection of adrenaline. Administration of adrenaline produces marked increase in arterial blood pressure. It stimulates the baroreceptors, which in turn reflexly inhibit vasomotor center and the respiratory centers, causing fall in blood pressure and apnea. Clinical classification of apnea. Clinically, apnea is classified into three types, obstructive apnea, central apnea, mixed apnea, obstructive apnea. Obstructive apnea occurs because of obstruction in the respiratory tract. 
respiratory tract obstruction is mainly due to excess tissue growth like tonsils and adenoids. Common obstructive apnea is the sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is the temporary stoppage of breathing that occurs repeatedly during sleep. It is also called sleep disordered breathing, SDB. It commonly affects overweight people. Major cause for sleep apnea is obstruction of upper respiratory tract by excess tissue growth in airway, like enlarged tonsils and large tongue. Characteristic feature of sleep apnea is loud snoring. Snoring without sleep apnea is called simple or primary snoring. But snoring with sleep apnea is serious and it may become life-threatening. If left unnoticed, it may lead to hypertension, heart failure, and stroke. Refer Chapter 160 for Sleep Apnea Syndrome. Central Apnea Central apnea occurs due to brain disorders, especially when the respiratory centers are affected. It is seen in premature babies. Typical feature of central apnea is a short pause in between breathing. Mixed apnea Mixed apnea is a combination of central and obstructive apnea. It is usually seen in premature babies and in full-term born infants. Main reason for mixed apnea is the abnormal control of breathing due to immature or underdeveloped brain or respiratory system. Hyperventilation Definition Hyperventilation means increased pulmonary ventilation due to forced breathing. It is also called overventilation. In hyperventilation, both rate and force of breathing are increased and a large amount of air moves in and out of lungs. Thus, pulmonary ventilation is increased to a great extent. Very often, hyperventilation leads to dizziness, discomfort, and chest pain. Conditions when hyperventilation occurs. Hyperventilation mostly occurs in conditions like exercise when partial pressure of carbon dioxide, PCO2, is increased. Excess of carbon dioxide stimulates the respiratory centers. Voluntarily also, hyperventilation can be produced. It is called voluntary hyperventilation. Effects of hyperventilation During hyperventilation, excessive carbon dioxide is washed out. In blood, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is reduced. It causes suppression of respiratory centers, resulting in apnea. Apnea is followed by Cheney-Stokes type of periodic breathing. After a period of Cheney-Stokes breathing, normal respiration is restored, Fig 127.1. Hypoventilation Definition Hypoventilation is the decrease in pulmonary ventilation caused by decrease in rate or force of breathing. Thus, the amount of air moving in and out of lungs is reduced. Conditions when hypoventilation occurs Hypoventilation occurs when respiratory centers are suppressed or by administration of some drugs. It occurs during partial paralysis of respiratory muscles also effects of hypoventilation. Hypoventilation results in development of hypoxia along with hypercapnia. It increases the rate and force of respiration, leading to dyspnea. Severe conditions result in lethargy, coma, and death, Fig 127.2. Hypoxia Definition Hypoxia is defined as reduced availability of oxygen to the tissues. The term anoxia refers to absence of oxygen. In olden days, the term anoxia was in use. Since there is no possibility for total absence of oxygen in living conditions, use of this term is abandoned. Classification and causes of hypoxia Four important factors which leads to hypoxia are Oxygen tension in arterial blood. Oxygen carrying capacity of blood. Velocity of blood flow. Utilization of oxygen by the cells. On the basis of above factors, hypoxia is classified into four types, hypoxic hypoxia. Anemic hypoxia. Stagnant hypoxia. Histotoxic hypoxia. Each type of hypoxia may be acute or chronic. Simultaneously, two or more types of hypoxia may be present. Hypoxic hypoxia Hypoxic hypoxia means decreased oxygen content in blood. It is also called arterial hypoxia. 
Causes for hypoxic hypoxia. Hypoxic hypoxia is caused by four factors. Low oxygen tension in inspired, atmospheric, air, which does not provide enough oxygen. Respiratory disorders associated with decreased pulmonary ventilation, which does not allow intake of enough oxygen. Respiratory disorders associated with inadequate oxygenation in lungs, which does not allow diffusion of enough oxygen. Cardiac disorders, in which enough blood is not pumped to transport oxygen. Low oxygen tension in inspired air. Oxygen tension in inspired air is reduced in the following conditions, high altitude. While breathing air in closed space. While breathing gas mixture containing low partial pressure of oxygen, PO2. Because of these conditions, required quantity of oxygen cannot enter the lungs. Respiratory disorders associated with decreased pulmonary ventilation. Pulmonary ventilation decreases in the following conditions, obstruction of respiratory passage as in asthma. Nervous and mechanical hindrance to respiratory movements as in poliomyelitis. Depression of respiratory centers as in brain tumors. Pneumothorax. In these conditions, even though enough oxygen is available in the atmosphere, it cannot reach the lungs. Respiratory disorders associated with inadequate oxygenation of blood in lungs. Inadequate oxygenation of blood in lungs occurs in the following conditions, impaired alveolar diffusion as in emphysema. Presence of non-functioning alveoli as in fibrosis. Filling of alveoli with fluid as in pulmonary edema, pneumonia, pulmonary hemorrhage. Collapse of lungs as in bronchiolar obstruction. Lack of surfactant. Abnormal pleural cavity such as pneumothorax, hydrothorax, hemothorax, and pyothorax. Increased venous admixture as in the case of bronchiectasis. In these conditions, in spite of oxygen availability and entrance of oxygen into the alveoli, it cannot diffuse into the blood. Cardiac disorders. In congestive heart failure, oxygen availability and diffusion are normal, but the blood cannot be pumped from heart properly. Characteristic features of hypoxic hypoxia. Hypoxic hypoxia is characterized by reduced oxygen tension in arterial blood. All other features remain normal. Table 127.1. Anemic hypoxia. Anemic hypoxia is the condition characterized by the inability of blood to carry enough amount of oxygen. Oxygen availability is normal. But the blood is not able to take up sufficient amount of oxygen due to anemic condition. Causes for anemic hypoxia. Any condition that causes anemia can cause anemic hypoxia. It is caused by the following conditions, decreased number of RBCs. Decreased hemoglobin content in the blood. Formation of altered hemoglobin. Combination of hemoglobin with gases other than oxygen and carbon dioxide. Decreased number of RBCs. RBC decreases in conditions like bone marrow diseases, hemorrhage, etc. Decreased hemoglobin content in the blood. Conditions which decrease the RBC count or change the structure, shape, and size of RBC, microcytes, macrocytes, spherocytes, sickle cells, poikilocytes, etc., can decrease the hemoglobin content in blood. Formation of altered hemoglobin. Poisoning with chlorates, nitrates, ferricyanides, etc. causes oxidation of iron into ferric form and the hemoglobin is known as methemoglobin. Methemoglobin cannot combine with oxygen. Thus, the quantity of hemoglobin available for oxygen transport is decreased. Chapter 11. Combination of hemoglobin with gases other than oxygen and carbon dioxide when hemoglobin combines with carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide or nitrous oxide, it loses the capacity to transport oxygen. Chapter 11. Characteristic features of anemic hypoxia. Anemic hypoxia is characterized by decreased oxygen carrying capacity of blood. All other features remain normal. Table 127.1. Stagnant hypoxia. Stagnant hypoxia is the hypoxia caused by decreased velocity of blood flow. It is otherwise called hypokinetic hypoxia. 
Causes for Stagnant Hypoxia Stagnant hypoxia occurs mainly due to reduction in velocity of blood flow. Velocity of blood flow decreases in the following conditions, congestive cardiac failure, hemorrhage, surgical shock, vasospasm, thrombosis, embolism. Characteristic features of stagnant hypoxia Stagnant hypoxia is characterized by decreased velocity of blood flow. All other features remain normal, table 127.1. Histotoxic hypoxia Histotoxic hypoxia is the type of hypoxia produced by the inability of tissues to utilize oxygen. Causes for histotoxic hypoxia Histotoxic hypoxia occurs due to cyanide or sulfide poisoning. These poisonous substances destroy the cellular oxidative enzymes and there is a complete paralysis of cytochrome oxidase system. So, even if oxygen is supplied, the tissues are not in a position to utilize it. Characteristic features of histotoxic hypoxia Histotoxic hypoxia is characterized by inability of tissues to utilize oxygen even if it is delivered. All other features remain normal, table 127.1. Effects of hypoxia Acute and severe hypoxia leads to unconsciousness. If not treated immediately, brain death occurs. Chronic hypoxia produces various symptoms in the body. Effects of hypoxia are of two types. Immediate effects Delayed effects Immediate effects Effects on blood Hypoxia induces secretion of erythropoietin from kidney. Erythropoietin increases production of RBC. This in turn, increases the oxygen-carrying capacity of blood. Effects on cardiovascular system Initially, due to the reflex stimulation of cardiac and vasomotor centers, there is an increase in rate and force of contraction of heart, cardiac output, and blood pressure. Later, there is reduction in the rate and force of contraction of heart. Cardiac output and blood pressure are also decreased. Effects on respiration Initially, respiratory rate increases due to chemoreceptor reflex. Because of this, large amount of carbon dioxide is washed out leading to alkalemia. Later, the respiration tends to be shallow and periodic. Finally, the rate and force of breathing are reduced to a great extent due to the failure of respiratory centers. Effects on digestive system Hypoxia is associated with loss of appetite, nausea, and vomiting. Mouth becomes dry and there is a feeling of thirst. Effects on kidneys Hypoxia causes increased secretion of erythropoietin from the juxtaglomerular apparatus. An alkaline urine is excreted. Effects on central nervous system In mild hypoxia, the symptoms are similar to those of alcoholic intoxication. Individual is depressed, apathetic with general loss of self-control. The person becomes talkative, quarrelsome, ill-tempered, and rude. The person starts shouting, singing or crying. There is disorientation and loss of discriminative ability and loss of power of judgment. Memory is impaired. Weakness lack of coordination and fatigue of muscles are common in hypoxia. If hypoxia is acute and severe, there is a sudden loss of consciousness. If not treated immediately, coma occurs, which leads to death. Delayed effects of hypoxia Delayed effects appear depending upon the length and severity of the exposure to hypoxia. The person becomes highly irritable and develops the symptoms of mountain sickness, such as nausea, vomiting, depression, weakness and fatigue. Treatment for hypoxia, oxygen therapy. Best treatment for hypoxia is oxygen therapy, i.e. treating the affected person with oxygen. Pure oxygen or oxygen combined with another gas is administered. Oxygen therapy is carried out by two methods, by placing the patient's head in a tent containing oxygen. By allowing the patient to breathe oxygen either from a mask or an intranasal tube. Depending upon the situation, oxygen therapy can be given either under normal atmospheric pressure or under high pressure, hyperbaric oxygen. In normal atmospheric pressure. With normal atmospheric pressure, i.e. at one atmosphere, 
760 mm Hg, administration of pure oxygen is well tolerated by the patient for long hours. However, after 8 hours or more, lung tissues show fluid effusion and edema. Other tissues are not affected very much because of hemoglobin oxygen buffer system. In high atmospheric pressure, hyperbaric oxygen. Hyperbaric oxygen is the pure oxygen with high atmospheric pressure of 2 or more than 2 atmosphere. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy with 2 to 3 atmosphere is tolerated by the patient for about 5 hours. During this period, the dissolved form of oxygen increases in arterial blood because the oxygen carrying capacity affects of hypocapnia. Effects on respiration. Respiratory centers are depressed, leading to decreased rate and force of respiration. Effects on blood. The pH of blood increases, leading to respiratory alkalosis. Calcium concentration decreases. It causes tetany, which is characterized by neuromuscular hyperexcitability and carpopedal spasm. Effects on central nervous system. Dizziness, mental confusion, muscular twitching and loss of consciousness are the common features of hypocapnia. Asphyxia. Definition. Asphyxia is the condition characterized by combination of hypoxia and hypercapnia, due to obstruction of air passage. Conditions when asphyxia occurs. Asphyxia develops in conditions characterized by acute obstruction of air passage such as, strangulation, hanging, drowning, etc. Effects of asphyxia. Effects of asphyxia develop in three stages, stage of hypernia, stage of convulsions, stage of collapse, stage of hypernia. Hypernia is the first stage of asphyxia. It extends for about one minute. In this stage, breathing becomes deep and rapid. It is due to the powerful stimulation of respiratory centers by excess of carbon dioxide. Hypernia is followed by dyspnea and cyanosis. Eyes become more prominent. Stage of convulsions. Stage of convulsions is characterized mainly by convulsions, uncontrolled involuntary muscular contractions. Duration of the stage is less than one minute. Hypercapnia acts on brain and produces the following effects, violent expiratory efforts, generalized convulsions, increase in heart rate, increase in arterial blood pressure, loss of consciousness, stage of collapse stage of collapse lasts for about three minutes. Severe hypoxia produces the following effects during this stage, depression of centers in brain and disappearance of convulsions. Development of respiratory gasping occurs. During respiratory gasping, there is stretching of the body with opening of mouth, as if gasping for breath. Dilatation of pupils. Decrease in heart rate. Loss of all reflexes. Duration between the gasps is gradually increased and finally death occurs. Altogether, asphyxia extends only for 5 minutes. The person can survive only by timely help such as relieving the respiratory obstruction, good aeration, etc. Dyspnea Definition Dyspnea means difficulty in breathing. It is otherwise called the air hunger. Normally, the breathing goes on without consciousness. When breathing enters the consciousness and produces discomfort, it is called dyspnea. Dyspnea is also defined as a consciousness of necessity for increased respiratory effort. Dyspnea point. Dyspnea point is the level at which there is increased ventilation with severe breathing discomfort. The normal person is not aware of any increase in breathing until the pulmonary ventilation is doubled. The real discomfort develops when ventilation increases by four or five times. Conditions when dyspnea occurs. Physiologically, Dyspnea occurs during severe muscular exercise. The pathological conditions when dyspnea occurs are, respiratory disorders. Dyspnea occurs in the respiratory disorders, characterized by mechanical or nervous hindrance to respiratory movements and obstruction in any part of respiratory tract. Thus, dyspnea occurs in, pneumonia. Pulmonary edema. Pulmonary effusion. Poliomyelitis. Pneumothorax. 
severe asthma, etc. Cardiac disorders. Dyspnea is common in left ventricular failure and decompensated mitral stenosis. Metabolic disorders. Metabolic disorders, which cause dyspnea are diabetic acidosis, uremia, and increased hydrogen ion concentration. Dyspneic index. Dyspneic index is the index between breathing reserve and maximum breathing capacity, MBC. Breathing reserve is the balance, difference, between MBC and respiratory minute volume, RMV. For example, in a normal subject, MBC is 116 L and RMV is 6 L. Dyspneic index equals MBC RMV, slash MPC times 100 equals 116 dash 6, slash 116 times 100 equals 94.8% dyspnea develops when the dyspneic index decreases below 60%. Periodic breathing. Definition and types. Periodic breathing is the abnormal or uneven respiratory rhythm. It is of two types, Cheney-Stokes breathing. Biot breathing. Cheney-Stokes breathing. Features of Cheney-Stokes breathing. Cheney-Stokes breathing is the periodic breathing characterized by rhythmic hypernia and apnea. It is the most common type of periodic breathing. It is marked by two alternate patterns of respiration, hyperpneic period, apneic period, hyperpneic period, waxing and waning of breathing. To begin with, the breathing is shallow. Force of respiration increases gradually and reaches the maximum, hypernea. Then, it decreases gradually and reaches minimum and is followed by apnea. Gradual increase followed by gradual decrease in force of respiration is called waxing and waning of breathing, Fig 127.3. Apneic period. When, the force of breathing is reduced to minimum, cessation of breathing occurs for a short period. It is again followed by hyperpneic period and the cycle is repeated. Duration of one cycle is about one minute. Sometimes, Waxing and waning of breathing occurs without apnea. Causes for waxing and waning. Initially, during forced breathing, large quantity of carbon dioxide is washed out from blood. When partial pressure of carbon dioxide decreases, respiratory centers become inactive. It causes apnea. During apnea, there is accumulation of carbon dioxide, hypercapnia, and reduction in oxygen tension, hypoxia. Now, the respiratory centers are activated, resulting in gradual increase in the force of breathing. When the force of breathing reaches maximum, the cycle is repeated, Fig 127.4. Conditions when Cheney-Stokes breathing occurs. Cheney-Stokes breathing occurs in both physiological and pathological conditions. Physiological conditions when Cheney-Stokes breathing occurs, during deep sleep, in high altitude, after prolonged voluntary hyperventilation, during hibernation in animals, in newborn babies, after severe muscular exercise, pathological conditions when Cheney-Stokes breathing occurs, during increased intracranial pressure, during advanced cardiac diseases, leading to cardiac failure, during advanced renal diseases, leading to uremia, poisoning by narcotics. In premature infants. Biot breathing. Features of biot breathing. Biot breathing is another form of periodic breathing characterized by period of apnea and hypernea. Waxing and waning of breathing do not occur, Fig 127.2. After apneic period, hypernea occurs abruptly. Causes of abrupt apnea and hypernea. Due to apnea, Carbon dioxide accumulates and it stimulates the respiratory centers, leading to hyperventilation. During hyperventilation, a lot of carbon dioxide is washed out. So, the respiratory centers are not stimulated and apnea occurs. Conditions when biot breathing occurs. Biot breathing does not occur in physiological conditions. It occurs only in pathological conditions. It occurs in conditions involving nervous disorders due to lesions or injuries to brain. Cyanosis. Definition. 
cyanosis is defined as the diffused bluish coloration of skin and mucous membrane. It is due to the presence of large amount of reduced hemoglobin in the blood. Quantity of reduced hemoglobin should be at least 5 to 7 g dl in the blood to cause cyanosis. Distribution of cyanosis. When it occurs, cyanosis is distributed all over the body. But, it is more marked in certain regions where the skin is thin. These areas are lips, cheeks, ear lobes, nose, and fingertips above the base of the nail. Conditions when cyanosis occurs. Any condition which leads to arterial hypoxia and stagnant hypoxia. Cyanosis does not occur in anemic hypoxia because the hemoglobin content itself is less. It does not occur in histotoxic hypoxia because of tissue damage. Conditions when altered hemoglobin is formed. Due to poisoning, hemoglobin is altered into methemoglobin or sulfamoglobin, which causes cyanosis. The cyanotic discoloration is due to the dark color of these compounds only and not due to reduced hemoglobin. Conditions like polycythemia when blood flow is slow. During polycythemia, because of increased RBC count, the viscosity of blood is increased and it leads to sluggishness of blood flow. So the quantity of deoxygenated blood increases, which causes bluish discoloration of skin. Cyanosis and anemia. Cyanosis usually occurs only when the quantity of reduced hemoglobin is about 5 g dl to 7 g dl. But, in anemia, the hemoglobin content itself is less. So, cyanosis cannot occur in anemia. Carbon monoxide poisoning. Introduction. Carbon monoxide is a dangerous gas since it causes death. This gas was used by Greeks and Romans for the execution of criminals. Carbon monoxide causes more deaths than any other gases. Common sources for carbon monoxide are exhaust of gasoline engines, coal mines, gases from guns, deep wells, and underground drainage system, Chapter 11. Toxic Effects of Carbon Monoxide Carbon monoxide is a dangerous gas because it displaces oxygen from hemoglobin, by binding with same site in hemoglobin for oxygen. So, oxygen transport and oxygen carrying capacity of the blood are decreased. Hemoglobin has got 200 times more affinity for carbon monoxide than for oxygen. So, even with low partial pressure of 0.4 mm Hg of carbon monoxide in alveoli, 50% of hemoglobin is saturated with it. It can be dangerous if the partial pressure increases to 0.6 mm Hg, 1 slash 1 comma 0 0 0 of volume concentration in air. Presence of carboxyhemoglobin decreases the release of oxygen from hemoglobin and the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shifts to left. It is still more dangerous because, during carbon monoxide poisoning, the partial pressure of oxygen in blood may normal in spite of low oxygen content of blood. So, the regular feedback stimulation of respiratory centers by hypoxia does not take place because of normal partial pressure of oxygen. However, low oxygen content in blood affects the brain, resulting in unconsciousness. The condition becomes fatal if immediate treatment is not given. Carbon monoxide is toxic to the cytochrome system in cells also. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning depend upon its concentration, while breathing air with 1% of carbon monoxide, saturation of hemoglobin with carbon monoxide becomes 15% to 20%. Mild symptoms like headache and nausea appear. While breathing air containing carbon monoxide more than 1%, the saturation becomes 30% to 40%. It causes convulsions, cardiorespiratory arrest, loss of consciousness and coma. When hemoglobin saturation is above 50%, death occurs. Treatment for carbon monoxide poisoning. Treatment for carbon monoxide poisoning includes, immediate termination of exposure to carbon monoxide. Providing adequate ventilation and artificial respiration. Administration of 100% oxygen if possible. It is to replace carbon monoxide. Administration of air with few percent of carbon dioxide, if possible. It is done to stimulate the respiratory centers. 
Atelectasis Definition Atelectasis refers to partial or complete collapse of lungs. When a large portion of lung is collapsed, the partial pressure of oxygen is reduced in blood, leading to respiratory disturbances. Causes Deficiency or inactivation of surfactant It causes collapse of lungs due to increased surface tension, which leads to respiratory distress syndrome. Obstruction of a bronchus or a bronchiole In this condition, the alveoli attached to the bronchus or bronchiole are collapsed. Presence of air, pneumothorax, fluid, hydrothorax, blood, hemothorax, or pus, pyothorax, in the pleural space. Effects Effects of atelectasis are decreased partial pressure of oxygen, leading to dyspnea. Pneumothorax Definition Pneumothorax is the presence of air in pleural space. Intrapleural pressure, which is always negative, becomes positive in pneumothorax and it causes collapse of lungs. Causes Air enters the pleural cavity because of damage of chest wall or lungs during accidents, bullet injury, or stab injury. Types and effects Pneumothorax is of three types, open pneumothorax, closed pneumothorax, tension pneumothorax, open pneumothorax. After the injury, an open communication is developed between pleural cavity and exterior. It is known as open pneumothorax. Air enters the pleural cavity during inspiration and comes out during expiration. Collapse of lungs causes hypoxia, hypercapnia, dyspnea, cyanosis, and asphyxia. Closed pneumothorax. During a mild injury, air enters into the pleural cavity and then the hole in the pleura is sealed and closed. It is called the closed pneumothorax. It does not produce hypoxia. Air from the pleural cavity is absorbed slowly. Tension pneumothorax. During injuries, sometimes the tissues over the hole in the chest wall or the lungs behave like a fluttering valve. It permits entrance of air into pleural cavity during inspiration but prevents the exit of air during expiration, due to its valvular nature. Because of this, the intrapleural pressure increases above atmospheric pressure. This condition is very fatal, since it results in collapse of the whole lung. Pneumonia Definition Pneumonia is the inflammation of lung tissues, followed by the accumulation of blood cells, fibrin, and exudates in the alveoli. Affected part of the lungs becomes consolidated. Causes Inflammation of lung is caused by Bacterial or viral infection inhaling noxious chemical substance. Types pneumonia is of two types, namely lobar pneumonia and lobular pneumonia. When it is lobular and associated with inflammation of bronchi, it is known as bronchopneumonia. Effects Following are the effects of pneumonia, fever, compression of chest and chest pain, shallow breathing, cyanosis, sleeplessness, Insomnia. Delirium. Delirium. Delirium is the extreme mental condition that is caused by cerebral hypoxia. Features of delirium. Confused mental state, confused way of thought and speech. Illusion, misinterpretation of a sensory stimulus. Hallucination, feeling of sensations such as touch, pain, taste, smell, etc. without any stimulus. Disorientation, loss of ability to recognize place, time, and other persons. Hyperexcitability. Loss of memory. Bronchial asthma. Definition. Bronchial asthma is the respiratory disease characterized by difficult breathing with wheezing. Wheezing refers to whistling type of respiration. It is due to bronchiolar constriction, caused by spastic contraction of smooth muscles in bronchioles, leading to obstruction of air passage. Obstruction is further exaggerated by the edema of mucous membrane and accumulation of mucus in the lumen of bronchioles. Causes Inflammation of air passage, leukotrienes released from eosinophils and mast cells during inflammation cause bronchospasm. Hypersensitivity of afferent glossopharyngeal and vagal ending in larynx and afferent trigeminal endings in nose, 
hypersensitivity of these nerve endings is produced by some allergic substances like foreign proteins. Pulmonary edema and congestion of lungs caused by left ventricular failure, asthma developed due to this condition is called cardiac asthma. Features Asthma is a paroxysmal, sudden, disorder because the attack commences and ends abruptly. During the attack, the difficulty is felt both during inspiration and expiration. Bronchioles have inherent tendency to dilate during inspiration and constrict during expiration. So, more difficulty is experienced during expiration. During expiration, great effort is exerted by all the expiratory muscles causing compression of chest. There is severe contraction of abdominal muscles also. So, air from lungs is pushed through the constricted bronchioles, producing a whistling sound. Because of difficulty during expiration, the lungs are not deflated completely, so that the residual volume and functional residual capacity are increased. There is reduction in, tidal volume. Vital capacity. Forced expiratory volume in one second, FEV1. Alveolar ventilation. Partial pressure of oxygen in blood. Carbon dioxide accumulates, resulting in acidosis, dyspnea, and cyanosis. Pulmonary edema. Definition. Pulmonary edema is the accumulation of serous fluid in the alveoli and the interstitial tissue of lungs. Causes. Increased pulmonary capillary pressure due to left ventricular failure or mitral valve disease pneumonia breathing harmful chemicals like chlorine or sulfur dioxide. Effects. Effects of pulmonary edema are severe dyspnea, cough with frothy blood-stained expectoration, cyanosis and cold extremities. Chronic interstitial edema leads to asthma. Alveolar edema is fatal and causes sudden death due to suffocation. Pleural effusion. Definition. Pleural effusion is the accumulation of large amount of fluid in the pleural cavity. Causes. Blockage of lymphatic drainage. Excessive transudation of fluid from pulmonary capillaries due to increased pulmonary capillary pressure caused by left ventricular failure. Inflammation of pleural membrane which damages the capillary membrane, allowing leakage of fluid and plasma proteins into the pleural cavity. Features. Pleural effusion causes atelectasis, leading to dyspnea and other respiratory disturbances. Pulmonary tuberculosis. Definition. Tuberculosis is the disease caused by tubercle bacilli. This disease can affect any organ in the body. However, the lungs are affected more commonly. Infected tissue is invaded by macrophages and later it becomes fibrous. Affected tissue is called tubercle. Features Initially, alveoli in the affected part become non-functioning, due to thickness of respiratory membrane. If a large part of lungs is involved, the diffusing capacity is very much reduced. In severe conditions, the destruction of the lung tissue is followed by formation of large abscess cavities. Emphysema Definition and Causes Emphysema is one of the obstructive respiratory diseases in which lung tissues are extensively damaged. Damage of lung tissues results in loss of alveolar walls. Because of this, the elastic recoil of lungs is also lost. Emphysema is caused by, cigarette smoking. Exposure to oxidant gases. Untreated bronchitis. Development of emphysema. Smoke or oxidant gases irritate the bronchi and bronchioles, leading to chronic infection it increases the mucus secretion from the respiratory epithelial cells causing obstruction of air passage. Cilia of respiratory epithelial cells are partially paralyzed and the movement is very much reduced. Because of this, the mucus cannot be removed from the respiratory passage. Destruction of alveolar mucous membrane. Destruction of elastic tissues occur. Normally, there is loss of some elastic tissues because of the proteolytic enzyme called elastis. But, that is very much negligible. Moreover, liver produces elastis inhibitors especially, alpha-1 antitrypsin, which prevents the destruction of elastic tissues. But, due to heavy smoking or because of constant exposure to oxidant gases, 
the pulmonary alveolar macrophages increase in number. Macrophages release a chemical substance, which attracts a large number of leukocytes. Leukocytes release proteases including elastis, which destroy the elastic tissues of the lungs. Effects of emphysema Airway resistance increases several times due to the bronchiolar obstruction. So, the movement of air through the respiratory passage becomes very difficult. It is more pronounced during expiration. Due to the destruction of alveolar membrane and elastic tissues, the lungs become loose and floppy. So, the diffusing capacity reduces to a great extent. However, lung compliance increases, chapter 120, and the aeration of blood is impaired. Enough oxygen cannot diffuse into blood and carbon dioxide cannot diffuse out. Obstruction also affects ventilation perfusion ratio, resulting in poor aeration of blood. Due to the destruction of lung tissues, the number of pulmonary capillaries also decreases. It increases the pulmonary vascular resistance, leading to pulmonary hypertension. Over the years, chronic emphysema could lead to hypoxia and hypercapnia. It will finally cause prolonged and severe air hunger, dyspnea, leading to death.